Hey, is there anyone online here? It's me, your VIP guest. Oh, hello, Sandra. What do you need today? Yeah, prepare for me the most expensive, fanciest, and shiny evening gown that fits my huge diamond rings. I just caught the biggest fish of my life. Oh, whoa. Glad to hear that. That's right. You should be happy. It takes stupid old men willing to give me money so you can sell your dresses for a price like that. Let me tell you this. He fell in love with me this time. He even promised to divorce his wife to marry me and give me all his property. <laughs> I'm going to be a millionaire. Oh no, not again. Huh? Uh, nothing. I would love to hear your story. So why did you break up with the last man? I thought you said he owns 12 golf courses and would give you all if you could marry him. Well, the intention was that. But when we almost finished the marriage registration, suddenly his sons and daughter appeared. They hit me, kicked me out of his house and forbade me to go near him, saying that I seduced the old man, causing him to neglect his family. Well, but that was the truth. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, it was truly a horrible day for you. Yeah, just a little more and I would become their mom. It should have been them who were kicked out of the house. So, how did you meet this new guy? I met him at the luxury mall. At the time, I was shopping and looking for a new target. Then I overheard his conversation with his mistress. He wanted to break up with his mistress because she was so boring. She kept crying and begging him. Oh, what a fool. Doesn't she know that men absolutely hate tears? But how did you know he's rich? Well, after he broke up with her, a man, who appeared to be his secretary, came to tell him that the $3 million project had been approved. But he didn't seem to care, even scolding the secretary that such a small project didn't need to bother him. Whoa, it sounds like he's the CEO of a big company. Yeah, I know. His secretary even gave the mistress a check as a farewell fee. I couldn't see it well, but it had at least five zeros. At that moment, I knew he was my next target. Also, he was very young and handsome. Very different from those dirty, greedy old men. It's worth living with him for the rest of my life, isn't it? Looks like you're determined to marry him this time. But how can you be sure that he's rich and would divorce his wife to come to you? Well, of course, baby. I always research carefully before approaching. I have researched carefully. He is currently the director of a real estate company and the mall is his property. His wife is an ugly, boring housewife and they have been married for three years but still have no children. Do you know that no man can refuse a perfect, young, beautiful woman? And I am the one who has all those conditions. I'm not sure if what you're doing is right. Forgive me if what I'm about to say might upset you, but it's not advisable to destroy other people's families. Oh, there is nothing wrong here. I'm just going with nature. Think of it as simply that he is fed up with his life and his tasteless wife, and I'm more suitable for him. I am the one sent by God to help him get out of that life. Sandra, I think you should be careful about it. You can't always be lucky. One day you will regret what you have done. I just thought that you approached old men who were divorced or whose wives died early. So I didn't say anything until now. But destroying other families is not acceptable. Oh, come on. I told you my stories because you are just a lowly sales staff with no authority to judge me. Don't think if I tell you some stories we become friends, okay? Don't think that as a classy person like me will play with someone like you. No, I never think that. But... I know this is unethical. Shut your mouth. It's none of your business. You only have the right to speak here when I rob your husband. Isn't your job just selling, caring for customers and meeting their needs? Yes, that's right. Then I ask you to keep your mouth shut. Pretend you're so excited to hear my story. You should know, thanks to me, you have the highest sales every month in the store. It's a good thing that you and I both benefit. 
you need to correct your attitude toward me and money. And if you continue to annoy me with such teachings, don't blame me for reporting you to the superiors. I believe they would rather fire you than lose a VIP guest like me. I understand, Sandra. Please forgive me. So, how did you get his attention? I would love to know that. <laughs> That's better. I would happily teach you how to make men love you if you wish. First, notice what kind of woman he's looking for. It can be seen that he does not love someone who has no career, is boring, and doesn't know how to take care of himself like his wife. From the other mistress, I could tell he also didn't like a woman who was too soft, mellow, and sweet. So what does all this mean? Does that mean he's looking for an interesting and powerful woman? Bingo. You're so smart. Do you know it? <laughs> Thank you. Then, after that, I just needed to incarnate into a rich, haughty lady just like he desires and make him pay attention to me. I spend the money the old men gave me to rent a supercar, and when he was driving away, I deliberately hit the back of his car. When I stepped down, I pretended to be sorry and wanted compensation. He was immediately attracted to my appearance and couldn't take his eyes off me. He said he didn't need monetary compensation, but just asked for my phone number and went to dinner with me. Whoa, you really are quite good at it. So you two had a romantic night together? No, silly. I just gave him some money and drove off right away. What? Why did you do that? Wasn't it really a good chance to get close to him? You don't seem to understand anything about men, do you? People often say that women are difficult to understand, but so are men. They want to find the perfect woman, but don't want to get her easily. So you just did that to make him curious and want to know more about you? Yeah, you got it. But how could he contact you when he didn't know who you were? Don't wait for the opportunity to come. Create it. I learned he usually comes to a cafe, so I waited there. And as soon as he saw me, he immediately tried to talk to me and invited me to eat. This time, I gave him a chance. I told my family he is very rich. My parents run a very famous hotel chain abroad, and he didn't doubt it. But aren't you afraid one day he will find out the truth? Oh, come on. No one knows the truth about me except you. But there's no way a poor person like you would know someone as rich as him, right? Besides, isn't hiring a few amateur actors to be my rich parents easy? You're really a professional, right? So, everything is going well? Absolutely, yes. Tomorrow night, he will bring me to the party of the elite and announce his divorce from his wife to marry me. I need the world's most magnificent dress tonight. I will take the spotlight off the party. Well, story time is over. Did you find the dress I needed? Ah, yes. Our store has just launched a limited edition in the special collection that perfectly suits your requirements. That sounds great. However, it's just... Just what? Don't tell me that someone bought it already. No, it's still here in the store, but the price is quite high. You insult me by saying such a thing, Helen. Helen, actually, with one letter L. <laughs> Who cares? How dare you say I have no money? Haven't you heard me say I will be a millionaire's wife? How expensive can a dress be? Well, its price is $1.5 million. What? $1.5 Are you losing your mind? Um, the price of the dress is quite expensive because we used very rare fabric and the whole dress is studded with diamonds. I think no one can be as beautiful as you if you wear that dress and show up at the party. All eyes will be on you. Every girl who shows up at the party will be jealous of you. Guys won't stop praising you as gorgeous as a princess. But if you feel the price is too high, I can recommend other beautiful dresses. Hey, I didn't say that I wouldn't buy it. Are you sure I will stand out in that dress? Yes, I can make sure about it. She will definitely be talked about and praised a lot by everyone. Well then, there's nothing my fiancé can't buy for me. Hold that dress for me. I'll go over to your store to try it on right now. Oh, yes. We are happy to serve you at any hour and at all times.
Hey, Helen. Is the plan going well? Oh, yes. It's more than fine. She bought that dress at the price of 1.5 million. Can you believe it? I thought it would be difficult to convince her, but who knew that I could just flatter her with a few sentences? <laughs> she was more than happy to do so and ask for money from that scumbag to buy it. Well, that's not too surprising. She thinks she's so smart, but it doesn't seem like she is. But if this story broke, would your store lose credibility? Oh dear, don't worry about me. She deserves payback for what she did to you. Besides, I never told her it was a real diamond. What about your side? Is everything okay? Did he sign it? Yeah, he signed the agreement already. I was so scared at the time. I did as you said, sandwiching that agreement in the middle of the company's papers. At first, he was going to read through those papers, but luckily he received a call from her because he saw her name on the phone, so he signed it quickly and left. Phew, that was close. You'll regret answering that phone call. Hmm, um, Helen, should we do this? Is it too cruel? Come on, Amanda. Don't flake out on me now. Think about what he did to you. Obviously, you helped him build that company. Through his most difficult times, the person by his side was you. And look how he treated you. He intends to divorce you to marry that slut. You're right. It's high time I let this go and do what I gotta do to live a new life. It's time to take back what rightfully belongs to me. It's well deserved, my friend. You wouldn't believe how boastful she is and how proud she feels when she seduces an awful and poor man. I really had to hold my tongue with her. I have to admit, I love it when she finds out that she is the joke. <laughs> hey, Helen. Yes? Thank you for always being by my side and helping me. If it weren't for you, I would probably be in pain forever and be kicked out of the house by him with nothing to show for it. Thank you, Helen. You are my angel. Well, you did say that I am your angel. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, wait. Where are you right now? I just met the lawyer. I'm quite near to your store. What's up? Great. Then come here quickly. You have to come and try on the special dress I made just for you. You have to be the belle of the ball at the party tomorrow night and showing everyone the real diamonds. <laughs> yes, I'm coming right now. What's happening? Are you messing with me? What do you want? Why are people at the party saying that the diamonds on my dress are fake? I paid a huge amount of money to buy it, right? And why was another girl wearing the same dress as me showing up at the party and everyone saying that it's the real version? When I tried on the dress, you told me this was the only one in the world, right? I need an explanation now. No wonder the liberal elites have a very keen eye. Their reaction exceeded my expectations. I thought you had crawled away somewhere to hide just as you should. You, so you know about all this? Aren't you supposed to be smart? Use your brain, my dear. Ugh, how dare you dress me in a dress with fake diamonds like that? You conned me out of $1.5 million for it. I'm going to call the police. You'll be sorry. I'll make you pay. Police, go ahead. What? I don't remember ever telling you that the dress had real diamonds. You just assumed it yourself, didn't you? Besides, you told me you are a classy woman, so I thought you knew how to distinguish between real and fake diamonds. No way, you tricked me. So why tell me the dress is the only one in the world? Hey, I never said that. Get your facts straight. That dress comes in two versions. One with real diamonds and one with rhinestones, and each version is one original piece. So is it really unique? Don't you know that the richest don't go around bragging in case they are wearing fakes? How dare you talk to me like that? I need to speak to your manager. Oh no, please don't report this to my manager. I'm so sorry. If you do that, I'll get fired. Let me talk to your manager right now. 
Oh, ma'am, please don't. Give me her number now or I'll go over there and cause such a scene. You'll beg me to leave. Well, if you insist, here's her number. Just you wait. You'll be on your knees begging for mercy. Wait. This is... This is your number? Yes, I am the shop owner. How can I help you? Oh, but I have no grudge against you at all. Why are you doing this? You did not harm me, but you insulted, ridiculed, and disrespected my best friend and tried to ruin her life. Your best friend? I don't even know her. My best friend is the wife of the man you're dating. How dare you text my friend and say she doesn't deserve that bastard. You did say that she's ugly and boring and that she doesn't deserve him. Did you know that the company was originally built by my friend? It was only later when she fell in love with him that she made him the CEO. I just told the truth. So this was your plan from the start? Bingo. But also, thank you for making our plan easier to implement. It's lucky that you're our VIP guest, saving us time to find you. No way. It can't be true. But before me, he also had another mistress. We found out he was having an affair a long time ago. Still, my friend couldn't get a divorce immediately because of the involvement in the company. If my friend divorces him first, he will get half the property. But he doesn't deserve it. Then what? Now if he gets divorced, he will still get half of the property, right? I will still be rich, so our plan still didn't work. It's not that easy, honey. Now he dares to announce at the party that he is divorcing my friend. Everyone in the business world knew he was having an affair. He must have thought that by marrying you, he would inherit the hotel chain from your parents. Besides, he signed an agreement not to receive any property or fees if he and my friend got divorced. What? He didn't tell me anything. Well, maybe he knows by now. Thank you for being such a perfect and foolish tool in our plan. None of his other mistresses were as determined as you. But why me? I still don't get it. Oh, calm down. We're not going to choose innocent girls to do this randomly. It's not like you're a saint. Out cheating men for money constantly. Now everyone at the party knows your reputation. You won't be able to destroy another family. No way! I did nothing wrong. I just do it for a living. Is it wrong to love money? It's not wrong to love money, but it will only be true when you know how to make money on your own, not seducing and deceiving others like that. I warned you before, but you didn't listen. So now you're making trouble for yourself. No, please help me. I want to return that dress. That's the last money I have. Please, help me. Then, Amanda divorced her terrible husband and won the entire property. At first, he couldn't accept this, so he clung to Amanda and tried to harm her. I was so worried about her that I took her home. Then, her husband has been arrested. In the end, she and my brother got together. It turned out that my brother had been secretly in love with Amanda for a long time. I'm very happy to see them stay together. As for that gold digger Sandra, she won't be deceiving anyone any longer. She became poor and had to sell all her goods to live, but she still refuses to work and spends lavishly. What a happy ending for everyone.